Whoopsie. <laughs> you already know what we did. Hey guys! We have a new at the drugstore haul, more makeup to put in on our faces. And we told you guys back in, I believe December-ish, somewhere around there, that we would have a few of these because we found so many awesome new products at the drugstores. Like all at once. All at once. So we had to spread them out so it wouldn't be like an hour long. I mean, we weren't planning on making a new at the drugstore movie, right. if you know what I mean. Right. <laughs> We're just looking for that, you know, sitcom 20 minute spot, a little less than 20 minute action. Yeah, so we have an awesome mix. I believe this came from like Walgreens, CVS. Walgreens and CVS. Yeah, and there's so many goodies in here. I can't wait to share them with yeah. you. So if you love drugstore hauls, what do they need to do? They should give it a thumbs up because I know you can get it to like 20 bajillion 5,000 thumbs up. Yeah, that's a technical word and math. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Please subscribe so you can be notified when we upload new videos. Yeah, and if you didn't know Birchbox first, it's the it's back. Oh my gosh. If you missed it, it'll be linked down there. We uploaded it. It's there. Get excited. Are you ready to talk about some drugstore makeup? I am ready. I mean, some drugstore makeup. I'm ready. <laughs> so CoverGirl has some new True Blend face primers and Stephanie has been loving the primers. Loving. And they come in different skin types. So that's really awesome. I have combo skin. So the silver one is for combo. Gold one is for dry and I have dry thirsty skin. So the combo one says it has balancing formula that creates a smooth surface with perfect balance foundation application. Is that good? Ooh. Let's see what this one feels like. This is designed for, you know, dry skin and hydrates and creates a smooth canvas. Is that we weird? We need to I start. Oh, look how like smooth and perfected it looks. I know, I told you I like primers. Yes, Gaga. Don't call me Gaga. We were at a shoe store the other day and she just kept telling me to come here, Gaga. She's like, I was like, oh my God, Gaga, look at these. They're beautiful. What do you think, Gaga? She was like, stop it. More CoverGirl True Blend Blush. And they're in different like light, medium, dark, like I guess for skin tones again. And I've got a medium one here. They don't have names. No, they're it's just, just medium, yeah. light, medium, dark, and light, light, and then. And then they have some bronzers and I believe these. They do have names. They do? Yep. The medium one is medium rose. Huh. The dark one is deep mauve. And this is light rose. And then this is just bronze, 200 bronze. And I don't think that this is for light, medium, or dark. It just says bronzer. It's for everyone. Everyone yeah. needs a good bronzer. I think they look really nice and fancy. And I feel like it's been a while since CoverGirl's had like blushes. Current looking mm. blushes that have not been like from the 80s, 90s. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Do you feel me? You know what I'm stepping in? I know what you're stepping in and you it know. smells delicious. Yeah. But CoverGirl, you're just having it's CoverGirl all time. the new thingies. These are the, what are you? CoverGirl, oh, sugar. Oh, sugar. Oh, sugar. I'm hungry. Oh, oh sugar. sugar. I was watching someone talk Ooh. about these and they think they're a ripoff of the fresh sugar lip balms. Really? Yes. And they also said that when they applied them, it had like a gritty texture, but they're vitamin infused balms and they have several colors. So I think it's just supposed to give you like a hint of color and they look like a regular lipstick. But you can tell they're like a creamy. Yeah, there's like barely any color there. It's mostly sheer. So there's number one is mm, cupcake. It smells really good. Kind of like citrusy. Number two, which is candy. Oh, it's not candy bonbon, it's just candy. And then number three is caramel. Number four is taffy, which is another kind of darker color that might have some pigment. I think cupcake is gonna be pretty sheer. Andy has a lot of pigment. Taffy is pretty good. And then number five, spice. And it's a darker as well. Two, four, and five will definitely show up. You don't want color. Number for like one caramel. and three, three. Moving on to an eye palette from Wet n Wild, and they have a lot of new stuff right now. And I'm really excited about this because I love Wet n Wild eyeshadow. It's got like some goldens and some cool tone. It's like a good mix of like warm and cool. Just like crumbles in a good way, like the good kind of crumble. Like buttery soft. Yeah. Oh, it's a good mix. It's it like, looks like everything. A naked between naked one and two or one and three. Two and two and three. Because it's got the cool tones of two and the rosiness of three. But it's got warm and rosy and cool. Don't have to spend $50 on an eyeshadow palette when you have this. Speaking of really cool eyeshadow palettes, we have talked about this Revlon not just nudes palette before, but I think we have the romantic nudes. And these are the passionate nudes. And these I think are more of your like warmer tone. And those were kind of like cool towards like flummy, purpley pinky. What do you feel like? Ooh. You know, I've heard a couple of people talk about these and they didn't really love it like 
They feel pretty good to me. What else, peeps? You cray. I'm excited for this palette. On the palette trend, we have a contour palette, which is really exciting from the drugstore. And this one is by Maybelline, and it has three different things in there, contour, blush, and highlight. So this is the Master Contour by Face Studio. Contour looks kind of light, but I feel like with, yeah, with a good brush and a nice heavy hand, you can make that. So it's got this pink color, which is like a bright, hot pink. And then the highlight is kind of a neutral, creamy color but I feel like it has like that grittiness to it. I'm excited to try it because I love contouring and highlighting and affordable. I love when drugstores start incorporating some of the more like high-end type products and I believe that makeup setting sprays are definitely something that they're finally kind of getting into. I know L'Oreal has had one and I don't know that we've used it. This is the Maybelline Master Fix by Face Studio Wear Boosting Setting Spray. Locks in makeup long lasting finish and it says translucent oil free. It's weird to like say that the mist is translucent because like, why would it be colored? And yeah, oh, I didn't shake it well. Cool, if you guys have tried these, let us know what you think, like drugstore versus high end. Then we have a powder by Maybelline. It's a setting powder, like a loose white powder. And I have really bad luck with these, AKA everyone I've ever used, I take photos and it looks like poof, flashback and not the good kind of flashback, ghostly face. I feel like I used that Laura Mercier one, but I'm excited to try this one to see if it, maybe it doesn't do that. But also like I have to be careful with powders because I have really dry skin. So Maybelline has some really exciting shadow stick things. They're the color tattoo crayon. You know, they come in a pot, normally the color tattoo eyeshadows, but now they're gonna be in stick, which that was my whole reason for not using them. Cause I didn't want to stick my finger into the pot. Are they completely different colors? And so I think that there are some that match over, like that one's supposed to be like that bad to the bronze color, I think. <gasps> this one, Barely Beige, has the same name as the one, mm -hmm, but like does. not all of them have the same names as their original color tattoos. I have number 700 Barely Beige. It's like a nice shimmery champagne gold color. Number 705 is Pink Parfait. And it's like a light pinky sparkly color. I think it'd be a good under lighter highlight. Then this one is Lavish Lavender. And it looks like it's gonna be kind of like a purpley grayish metallic color. Then we have Bronze Truffle, which looks like a beautiful light brown sparkly color. The next one is creamy chocolate and it just looks like a darker version and it's like gorgeous bronzy color, metallic, very pretty. Then there's charcoal chrome, which is like self-explanatory. It's kind of charcoal, but it's chrome because it's like, you know, got like a metallic finish to it. It just looks like a metallic gray. And then we have this one, which is Gold Rush. It's more yellowy than Barely Beige. Barely Beige is more of a cooler tone and it's just a shimmery metallic gold. And then Audacious Asphalt. It's also still kind of a gray, but I feel like it's more of a matte. So those are all of the things we found at the drugstore, minus some of the ones that will be coming soon. I was gonna say, that's just the second part. <laughs> yeah. Part two, I mean, there's part three. There's like one more good set so you're gonna want to subscribe to not miss that we'll also have the first one as well as birchbox versus zipsy linked down below in case you missed those because they're good and all the products will be linked down below if you want to check them out hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up and we're going to talk to you guys in another video super soon bye guys bye.